Dylan, um, it's a real pleasure to welcome you as the 2012 Origins Postdoctoral Fellow. Uh, you began in January in Sarah Stewart's uh, um, shock compression lab at the Earth and Planetary Sciences. So how's been the first couple of months? It's been very good. It's been exciting to start new projects. So the, the work that I've initially begun doing is, is looking at um, shock effects in clays. So in Sarah's lab, we have a 40 millimeter gas gun, which is essentially a big cannon that permits us to fire projectiles. Sort of, you can think of them as like small hockey pucks at velocities up to about two and a half kilometers a second. Um, so we use that to, to drive shock waves in samples and measure material properties. Are you aiming towards the chemistry department or towards the biology department? <laughs> towards MIT. <laughs> um, so so this, is, this is still in the same, the same theme of research um, that I've been working on previously, which is measuring material properties at high pressures and temperatures. And I'm looking at the shock effects on a phyllosilicate clay that's on Mars, um, trying to understand, A, how it's transformed by high pressure and temperature in a shock process, but also trying to understand how you get volatiles out of a substrate like that. So in those terms, like what is uh, your current plan uh, for using the shock compression lab and the facilities here and integrating it uh, within our team? Well, so there are several, several themes, several directions that, that I'd like to look at. Um, one is the very, very basic fundamental shock physics aspect, um, because we actually don't understand a lot about the temperature histories of materials under shock compression. Um, that's something that's difficult to measure and that not many people have done. Um, but temperature, the temperature effects in materials are very important to understanding, for instance, the surface of Mars today, how, how these clays on Mars were transformed by shock processes, um, and also in, in how you get volatiles out of the materials. Temperature plays a big role in that. So there's the fundamental physics. There's also an interest in understanding how the atmosphere and oceans on Earth formed, because once you take the volatiles out of these materials, what happens to them? Are they vaporized and lost? Um, can they be preserved through different means? Can you explain sufficient delivery of water and other simple molecules that are important to prebiotic chemistry just from delivery, extraterrestrial delivery? Um, or do we have to invoke other geophysical processes earlier on in the Earth's formation, for instance? And I'm, I'm especially excited about this tie to atmospheric formation because the first observations that we can make of, of exoplanets are really seeing what's in the atmospheres. And this is sort of a the first fingerprint that we can compare to. So I'm interested in in the role that shocks play in, in creating that atmosphere, but also in what that fingerprint looks like and if we can decipher uh, what went into creating it. Yeah, that's, that's exciting because it puts your research into the big picture of the origins of life. Yeah. But going outside of the lab, any personal uh, interests that uh, you can explore or have you done this already here in the Boston area? Um, so outside of the lab, I'm, I'm a sailor, so I, I like... Oh, perfect! Um, <laughs> in the right place! Yeah, I like competitive sailing. It's, it's a little bit colder here than the other places I've been, so I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Um, have you been to one of the frostbite sail regattas? Uh, not yet. They have those too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, aware. I'm, no, not quite, Boston I'm not that courageous yeah. yet. But, right. um, I'm also learning to play the fiddle. So I take fiddle lessons, um, specifically in sort of bluegrass and traditional American style. Uh, so that's, Sounds that's great. How I well, uh, that's amazing. Uh, thank you for your time today, and uh, welcome again uh, to the Origins team. We're looking forward to exciting research. Thank, thank you. you.